In this video, we'll show you how to update your firmware using Basecamp, which is Garmin's free mapping service. Now, we're using the Mac for this, but a PC should be the same. So we have our Map62 plugged into our computer via USB, and we can see on the top right that we have a notification icon here. So we're going to click on that, and it will indicate that we have a device update available. Now, it's cut off here on the screen, but there's a little arrow that you'll be able to click. You'll be presented with a new screen, either to skip the update or apply the update. So in this case, we're going to apply the device update, which is the firmware. So we're going to click on that. So what happens now is that the Garmin Web Updater will come up. Make sure you have the latest version for that. Give you a little bit more details here. Now, we're using the Map62, so we'll have to do a manual reboot. So let's read the agreement. Once we're ready with that, we can click on it. It will download the software from Garmin, and then from that, it's going to transfer that firmware onto our device. So that will take a few seconds. And now we're done. We can disconnect the uh, device from our computer. I just pulled the, the USB cable out. Now we're going to get a little error message because we're using a Mac because we didn't eject the disk. It doesn't really affect our device here. So now we're back to our Map 62. We're just going to press the power button to turn it back on. Other models will reboot automatically, but not the Map 62. So we're going to go through the boot up cycle here. And the next screen that we'll see is the validation of the firmware. So that's going to take about a minute or so, maybe a little bit less. It will count through from 0 to 100 percent. Once it's done, it's going to restart. It's going to apply or load the loader. And for those who've updated their firmware before, you'll see a familiar screen here. So this is what takes the longest here, is to apply the firmware. You see the progress bar here. It's a pretty short uh, update here, so it goes by pretty fast. And we'll do a final reboot and we should be presented to our regular startup screen or whatever screen that we were at the last time. So this might take a little while depending if you have custom maps installed or not. And there we go. Here's our map screen. We did a little track, a little hike here. Everything looks uh, okay. So there you go. That is how you update firmware.